Uh, welcome, uh, Gary. It's uh, nice to have you um, with us here on Poppy's TV. There's Gary. Oh, yeah. There he is. There's, the man. There's, our, there's our new striker. Uh, unfortunately, not out there today, but uh, uh, the second one. Uh, interesting suspension. We won't go into that. No, we'll leave, that, alone, leave yeah. that one alone. But uh, there we go. The all important goal at the moment scored by Doobie. Well deserved 1 uh, 0, isn't it? Yeah, great. To be fair, we won up on, as you say, we deserve. I think we've had all the play, we've had all the chances. And yeah, it's just a bit of luck. The ref gave us that penalty. And He's put it away. I mean, before then we had the double shot save there by um, well by Mormon in two in two minutes, didn't we? Really, he went in there. The goalkeeper blocked it. Then the next save went off for a corner. We had the two two disallowed goals through Dubi. It's been one way traffic. Yeah, as, as you said, yeah, it's been one way traffic. And yeah, yeah Josh was unlucky. Maybe probably should have shown a bit more composure instead of trying to smash it. But yeah, as you say, deserve one nil lead. And hopefully we can go on and win two or three now. Are you a good uh, a good watcher of football, or are you really want to be out there playing, kicking every ball, or? Uh, uh, like all fans want to be out there playing and <laughs> think you're the best player, and when you're sitting in the stands, you think you're the best player and want to give advice and stuff. But yeah, hopefully the lads are doing a great job at the minute. So. Well, the fans that have seen you play, you're a whole wholehearted player, blood and thrust and uh, thrust, and you've certainly. Uh, uh, put a bit in there already, scoring that goal, of course, away from home, which was uh, a great uh, winner with 3-1, wasn't it, coming on as a substitute? Yeah, it was uh, great to get the first goal there, I think it was in my second game, so yeah, as I say, hopefully I'm going to come back and get a few more, yeah, and as I say, put 100% in and get us to win so that league. Quite a big uh, bracket connection, isn't there, with uh, Mr Sandy, Mr Salkin and yourself, there's been a, a few little bits of banter going That's on. That's why we here. have the banter, the change room, <laughs> about that, yeah, with that yeah. Elliot's bringing all his bra Brackley friends down to Kettering. Was it a big decision to come from Brackley to here, or? Um... Uh, no, nah, it's hard. As you say, if you look at uh, club wise, Kettering's a bigger club, isn't it? We get more fans. It's bigger and support stuff, and yeah, potentially, support, potentially bigger. Yeah, so no, we've really. been right up there in the conference, and Brackley haven't had that uh, yeah. yet. Um, I'm not sure if they, if they will, but um, certainly we'll hopefully we'll get back there one day. And uh, as you say, Kettering have the potential to go back there, so we're at the minute Brackley don't so. So, what do you reckon then? The managers will be saying to the team in the in the dressing room. You, you're a privileged person to be in the dressing room nine times out of ten. You can hear them in action, and uh, without too many expletives, uh, <laughs> what will they be saying now? One nil. Incidentally, if you've not heard the latest scores from the two important matches that are being played tonight, it's uh, Bedworth United one, Hanwell Town two, and both of those goals uh, for, um, were own goals by Bedworth. And in the other game, it's AFC Hayes nil. Ellsbury FC won, so everything going Kettering's way at the yeah, moment. The minute, so yeah, that. Will those score lines be introduced to the players at half-time with the management, or will they just solely concentrate on the next 45 minutes? No, it'll be on the next 45 minutes, because as I said, it doesn't matter if uh, Bedford win or Bedford lose, once we need to win. So once we win, then at the end of the game, yeah, you go in and then check your phone and see if they've lost or what. Is it a nice cushion to be in, though, with the five points advantage and the 11 points advantage? Do, do, do the players get a bit complacent, or don't they think about that? Is it just the normal cliche of one game at a time? Is, is it really one game at a time? Or in your head, are you thinking, oh, we're five points, clear, we don't need to? Because yeah. nah, five points is, I mean, you lose two games and they win two. Then they're on win, top, yeah, they're on win. So, yeah, no, I just think if these three home games are really important. If you win these next three games, then and depend how they go on, then you can look at the league and say, yeah, we're, we're confident that we're going to win it. Like. Well, all being well, you should be playing this time next week against Egham and then the first real crunch game against Hanwell. Hopefully you'll feature in that one as well. So. Yeah, hopefully looking forward to that, yeah. Just hopefully the weather stays nice and the games don't get cold off. Well, I was amazed the morning at six o'clock this morning, it was actually tipping down in Kettering and my first thought was, it's off, it's off, yeah, you know, right. because it's a cup of tea on our pitch normally and it's, uh, it's, it's actually cancelled, isn't it? But it's falling out quite well, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I just walked across it in and yeah, it seems actually good. No, actually, um, Let's see if we can uh, get the goal up for you to look at again on there. Yes, here we go. Here's, here's the penalty. Is uh, Doobie look at lining up and let's uh, let's talk us through it, uh, Gary. I say uh, show good composure. Pick this corner and slot it in there. Yeah, so it's the wrong nice way, penalty. Yes, yeah, so it's a keeper. It's well taken penalty, isn't it? Yeah, because great penalty. I say nice composure in the corner. Nice um, pace on it as well. It's a lot better this season than last season. We, we had a disastrous time of penalties last season, missing you know about five or six. Yeah, I think we lost the first. We missed the first six penalties we took. You know, but uh, this season has been exceptional, and uh, most penalty takers have done a fantastic job. Yeah, you know. yeah, is it something that you like doing, taking penalties, or not? 
Um, yeah, I've took, back in the past, I've took a few, but when I was at Brackley, I think uh, Ellie was a penalty taker, so I haven't really took, haven't took a penalty in about two years. But yeah, yeah I'm, he, I'm not afraid of taking them. Like, mm, he, he did drop that in the last time he was on here. That he took one in the Conference North, I think it was. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he mentioned that. Meaning mean, he used to play up front. I remember him saying that. That's, uh, that's great. And that, at the minute, what we had left five penalties in the last what? Four, four, five games, games. Yeah, exactly. Games, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good, but it gets uh, Ogbonner on to 16 goals, and um, he's leading the way, leading the charge, and uh, that's what we need, really. So yeah, uh, definitely. It should be good. So you should be playing a week tonight, hopefully, it's Egham, so you'll be champing at the bit to get out there, yeah? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Hopefully, get a win there as well. All right, well, that's great for you to pop Cheers. in here, and uh, we'll get uh, Matt to finish off uh, before uh, he goes back up the gantry. You can nip All out right. with Craig and. Uh, Cheers. Thanks for coming in. That's uh, Gary Mulligan. Half. A good Thank second you. half, and that's uh, Gary Mulligan there, our new striker.